Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see today, I have a Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo model number 68C71. This is my second Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo 68C71. I currently own two of these now. I will show you that right now. Here's this one. And here is this one. Look the same, right? Well, that's because they are. This is this is uh, the current one that I have right now. My other one. This is model number 68C71, manufactured 358th day of 2014. And a week ago, uh, I just got back from vacation today, which is why I haven't been, uh, posting, or I haven't made the video on this yet, but I am now. But like I said, 358th day of 2014, and this one is also, this one's also model number 68C71, but this one was manufactured on the 338th day of 2015. So, this one's newer than that one over there. Um, so, anyways, uh, so, right off the bat, I can see, um, this one has a turbo brush, believe it or not. All the other attachments are missing. Uh, the combination dusting brush tool is missing. A upholstery tool, I think it's called. A upholstery and dusting brush tool is missing. The extension one's missing, the crevice tool's missing. All, all the tools are missing, but the, to uh, but the only attachment that it has is the turbo brush tool which is crazy because that this is the hardest tool to find so that's awesome it ha it's missing all the other attachments except for this tool so it's missing all the attachments except for the turbo brush which is hard to believe so it looks like it's set on the low carpet setting, bottom of cleaning, never leaves a section. Uh, let's have a look inside the bin before I plug it in. Um, looks like there's some dirt in here. So what you do, switch that to this side to take the dust cup out. And ooh, yeah, there's some, there's some stuff in here for sure. What is this? I don't know. It's just looks like dryer lint. It, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It is. It looks like dryer lint, dog hair, and just dirt. And here's the filter, right here. This is the original. This is the original filter. How do I know that? Is because it has this outer, uh, this outer layer here, because um, replacement filters uh don't have that uh does it have the pre-motor filter yes it does it does have the pre-motor filter so and it's quite dirty too so hopefully that filter right there did its job at protecting uh all that dirt from getting into the motor so this is a little dirt this is this is dirty but I mean, it's really it's quite dirty actually so we're just gonna put that back in place. Uh, that's what the cyclone looks like in there. It's got a little bit of garbage in there. So we're just gonna put that back. Uh, what's the, what does this filter look like? Not bad. And it's got, it's got some stuff right there. It's not terrible. It's dusty in there, it's dusty. Um, just pop that back in place. Um, so yeah, that's, that's this. Um, oh, another thing I just discovered. Uh, 
this right here is broken. This lever's broken. Uh, so if I do this, uh, that's broken. So uh, the foot release is busted, it's broken. Uh, so here's the power switch. Um, so yeah, that's this, here's the hose, let's pull this off, let's see if there's a clog in here, see, see this came off, so this is broken like I said, any clogs, eh, nothing I'm seeing right now, you can see it's clear, what about in here? pretty clear we'll just put that back in Ooh. and see this fell down on me but I'm not seeing any clogs right now uh, so you lay this down and look at the bottom it's quite dirty uh, let's see, is the brush roll spin? Oh my, oh my, mm. I, this brush roll's seized. I can't even, I can't even turn it. Look, the brush roll is completely seized. I can't even turn it. It's completely locked up. So, that seems to be a problem here so this brush roll is locked up uh, so that's a problem so this thing probably has a broken belt and obviously a locked up brush roll height adjustment seems to be good uh, but so far from what I'm seeing from wrong with this machine right now is this foot release is broken which i can show you right here see there see that piece right there you can see right there it's broken it's broken right there so the foot release is broken and the brushel it's completely locked up so so that's a problem there so uh, I guess we should just see what this thing does and what this thing sounds like so uh, I have no idea what it sounds like so anyways let's plug this thing in and see what it does so uh hopefully it's in the off position all right that that should be off uh and believe it or not believe it or not this uh this vacuum did not have a chopped cord so that means i can just take it off and just plug it right in and just see what it does because since i don't have to put a cord on it because that one over there the other bissell powerful helix turbo when i first got it it had a chopped cord but this one does not luckily so that's a good thing so we're gonna plug this in and we're gonna see what it sounds like hopefully it does not have a bad motor because uh that machine over there has a crappy motor in it well i mean it, the, it has a loud motor in it uh and i believe the fan is damaged because it's really loud when you turn it on uh if it ain't the fan though it's probably the bearings but um i'm thinking uh of rebuilding this i'm gonna re if this thing works i'm thinking of rebuilding this from that machine right there I'm gonna take parts off of that one 
and put parts on this one. So I'm gonna take the parts off of that one and put them on this one. So anyways, moment of truth. We are plugging this in right now. And I wonder if he even comes on. All right, I just plugged it in. It did not come on. So, uh, let's see what this thing sounds like. So this, the Bissell Powerforce Helix, my second Bissell Powerforce Helix Turbo 68C71. So, uh, the wheels don't sound very good. So yeah, they don't sound very good. But anyways, let's see what it sounds like. So, this is the moment of truth. Here we go. sound too bad it could sound worse but it doesn't sound the greatest either um, it sounded kind of uh, kind of grindish whinish gr whinish grindish kind of thing uh, but I'll turn it on again and let you guys listen <laughs> So, it don't sound all that bad. Ooh, that smells bad. Mmm. That smells like, um, pet hair and water just mixed all together. Just, ew. It just smells like mildew. Which is disgusting. That's what this thing smells like. Uh, but it's not a burning smell, so that's a good thing. But it, this thing does stink. Uh, I've also noticed this hose has a gush in it right here. Mm, that's not good. Um, does it have suction? Uh, let me get the hose first. Let's see, does it have suction? have suction it doesn't sound the greatest but it I think it's doable I'll do that to I'll have to do a little bit of motor work to it uh, probably just a simple cleaning all to fix it um, so yeah So that's the Bissell Power for Helix Turbo vacuum saved um, 68C71, my second one that I own. 
So, like I said, I'm thinking of rebuilding this one. I'm going to take parts off of that one over there and put parts on this one from that one. So, uh, so from what I'm seeing, what's wrong with it, uh, the brush roll is completely locked up. Uh, the foot release is broken. And the motor sounds a little eh, but I think cleaning will help along with that and this thing is incredibly dirty I would say and it smells of wet dog mildew smell so um so yeah I'm thinking of rebuilding it uh let me know in the comments of what you think I should do with it guys but I'm thinking of rebuilding it taking parts off of that one over there and putting putting it on this one right here so um again for what i'm saying it it needs the brush roll needs work uh foot pedal is gonna need replaced um i'm i'm probably gonna take the base off of that one and put it on this one um uh so yeah so i'm thinking of rebuilding it uh but yeah that ends this video right here. Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo. My second 68C71 vacuum saved. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think on this uh, vacuum cleaner. And that's all I have for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till next time, guys. Peace.